If you're buying tech around the holidays, odds are you're looking for something special, whether it's a gift for someone else or some retail therapy for yourself. So I'm breaking down my favorite tech that's come through the studio this year in the Mr. Mobile Holiday Tech Guide, brought to you by dbrand. So just to be clear, no company has paid for inclusion on this list. These are just my personal picks after a year spent waist deep in tech. And also these will be US focused as usual. Most of you folks are here for the phones, so my holiday gift to you is not making you wait till the end for them. The iPhone 10 kicks things off for us because from cameras to display to silicon to dat notch, it's top notch. At least if what you're looking for is an iOS powered smartphone. Keep in mind that you can get all of its essential features for much less with the iPhone 8, but if a splurge-worthy gift is what you're after, then the 10's design and display really bring it home. On Android, of course, the options stretch on forever, so I'll confine my recommendations here to phones most likely to delight, either due to excellence or price. In the high roller category, if you're looking to make an impression, the Galaxy Note 8 from Samsung, which packs more features than some laptops. Sure, you could skimp and get a Galaxy S8 Plus instead, but I'm telling you, that S Pen comes in handy more than you expect. Also, Samsung is offering a Gear VR headset free with purchase until the day after Christmas, or, and this would be my choice, a free DeX dock to turn the Note 8 into a quick and dirty computer, because, you know, it didn't have enough features already. If what you want is something with just as much power, but a little more focus, then go for the Google Pixel 2. It's had its problems this year, particularly the XL version, but it still packs two standouts that keep it top shelf. First is, in my opinion, the best version of Android you can find on a phone, which Google promises will get updates for three years. And second is a set of cameras that are smart enough to compensate for the shakiest of hands and the dimmest of shooting environments. If those options are a little beyond the reach of your wallet, there are two big names to pay attention to. The first is OnePlus, whose new smartphone is called the 5T. Now, it won't give you the feature load of the Note or the great photos of the Pixel, but it does offer a fantastic software experience and some pretty powerful hardware for under 500 bucks. The other company to keep an eye on is Amazon, because some of the best smartphone deals I'm seeing right now are coming through its Prime exclusive program. In particular, the LG G6 I carried for much of this year is on there for 450 bucks, which is a great deal if you're looking for a wide-angle camera and mil-spec durability. And if what you want is savings above all, the Moto X4 is listed for $280, which is a very good deal for a looker like this. Do keep in mind, though, that to get the lowest prices through Amazon, you have to agree to lock screen ads. If that's not your speed, check out the HTC U11 Life and the Honor 7X, both of which I'll be covering in an Affordable Phones Roundup soon. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss it. Let's take a look at laptops. I've seen a bunch this year, but in keeping with our theme of delight, there are only two I want to mention, and I'm afraid they're both on the pricey side. The first is Microsoft's Surface Laptop. It's easy on the palms, thanks to an Alcantara-covered keyboard, and easy on the eyes, with a choice of aluminum and some fetching colors. It got some flack for only shipping with Windows 10 S, but upgrading to Pro is a trivial matter. The speakers are great, the touchscreen is vibrant, the trackpad is precise, and because it's coming right from Microsoft, you don't have any side-loaded cruft. It's the perfect middle ground between the Surface Book, which I think is more than most people need, and the Surface Pro, whose form factor won't be for everyone. In short, it's a wonderful Windows laptop, and it's the one I usually reach for when I'm not reviewing something else. Microsoft is running a deal on the higher-end model that bundles in a Harman Kardon speaker for free, but the i5 trim has done me just fine for a lot less. My other selection is weirder, it's the Pixelbook by Google, and before you go and click away, remember that this is a gift guide. It's for things you wouldn't ordinarily buy yourself, and a $1,000 Chromebook certainly qualifies. The Pixelbook has indulgence written all over it, from its glass and aluminum chassis to its comfy silicone padded keyboard. It runs Android apps and doubles as a tablet if you want to fold the keyboard back. 
It won't convince anyone used to the power of a MacBook or PC to switch over to Chrome OS, but for those who already love Chromebooks and don't want to be stuck using a cheap plastic one, the Pixelbook is a very nice gift. On to gadgets. 2017 saw my first ever drone flight. And while that didn't go very well, it taught me very quickly how to fly responsibly and what accessories I needed to buy to do so. So if you buy the DJI Spark, which I recommend you do because it's a lovely drone, make sure you spring for the Fly More combo. Along with the carry case and spare battery and other stuff, the combo gives you the transmitter with dedicated antennas. That's a far safer way to fly than just relying on your phone. Since losing my first Spark, I've flown the second one four times with no incident, which has allowed me to capture some pretty amazing footage. I'll be taking a look at the DJI Mavic Pro in a few weeks, but for someone just getting into drone flying, the Spark with the Fly More combo definitely gets my thumbs up. When you're keeping your feet on the ground but don't want to let them off the fun pedal, the Nintendo Switch is my favorite game console of the year. That's not to say I don't love my Xbox, but the Switch lets you stay mobile. That means you can take the same game from the big screen to go, and back again, with basically no fuss at all. My worry earlier in the year was that the games just wouldn't show up, but they have in droves, and the customers have followed. Just this week, Nintendo announced it sold 10 million of the consoles. At $299, it's still a very good buy. Just be sure to put away some extra money for the titles, which can get up there in price. To keep the outside world at bay when you're playing, or just to block out the screaming baby on your flight, my preferred headphones are still the Bose QC35. There's a revised version out there with Google Assistant, but even that hasn't helped bring down the price of the first generation, which is a shame. If you do need some runners-up that you might find better discounts on, I really like the MDR-1000X from Sony and the PXC 550 from Sennheiser. But the Bose's combination of 20 hours of battery life, a comfortable, lightweight build, and the best acoustic noise canceling out there mean the QC35s are what I keep reaching for every time I travel. This is a longer video than my usual, and to keep me going, I rely on coffee. Coffee. The finest organic suspension ever devised. To keep that coffee hot, I lean on a recommendation from Modern Dad, the Ember Travel Mug. I never thought I'd be the kind of guy who needs a smart thermos, but this thing has coils that keep my coffee hot even on cold days in Boston, and the rheostat on the bottom lets me dial in my perfect temperature down to the degree. Don't expect its battery to last all morning, but it'll get you through at least a couple cups of caffeine, no matter how cold your city is. Finally, to keep all this tech sorted, I rely on the Tilt Energy Plus backpack. Whether you keep the included battery or swap it out for another one like I did, the Energy Plus has waveguides for your cables and enough pockets and compartments for all your smart stuff, bundled up in a backpack that looks good even on the hiking trails. Sometimes I wish its main compartment was bigger or its overall package was a little slimmer, but I've used this thing nonstop for months and I'd buy it for a fellow gadget nerd in a second. Of course, if all your friend really wants is to spruce up their smartphone and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you can always hit up today's sponsor, dbrand. Whether you're looking to class it up with wood or murder it out with carbon fiber, dbrand can help with the best premium vinyl skins in the business, including new ones for the iPhone X. Hit up the link in the description for that Check that same description for links to all the products mentioned in this video, and have a happy holiday season. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.